guys, I'm back to share with you a recipe for a Weight Watchers friendly mac and cheese. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I have already boiled some elbow noodles. This is two ounces of elbow noodles and I cooked them al dente. We're gonna be using some spray butter, a laughing cow cheese wedge, this is white cheddar. And we're just using one of those. We're gonna use a quarter cup of this cheddar cheese and we're gonna use a quarter cup of fat free cheese and I'm just gonna use these small ramekin dishes to put my um, mac and cheese in. So it's gonna make two servings. So let's get everything mixed up. Okay, I'm gonna start with spraying my pasta with the spray butter and just give it a few spritz. I'm also gonna be using some salt and pepper. You can season this to however you like the taste of your uh, mac and cheese, but I'm gonna use some salt and pepper, just a little, and some paprika and some parsley. We're gonna to add to it our cheddar cheese sauce. And that's a quarter cup, guys. I'm just going to dump that right on in there. And I kind of took my laughing cow wedge and put it in the microwave for a few seconds to soften it up. But you could also just leave it out sitting out for a little bit to soften it up so that when you put it in there, it just um, is smooth and it spreads into your mac and cheese, um, cheesy mixture easier. So there we go, There, I put that in there. And now we're just gonna mix it all in. Now I'm going to add in a little water just to help it stay a little loose and creamy. I don't want this to dry out while it's baking. You could use milk if you want to, but milk is going to add points to this. So if you want to stay within that point friendly range, just add a little water to loosen it up. Okay, now that we have everything well mixed, I'm gonna add in a quarter cup of the fat-free cheese, the shredded fat-free cheese. Let me just get that nicely combined into the uh, mixture. We're going to spray the dishes to just keep everything from sticking. So I'm just gonna use a little cooking spray. And give them both a little spritz. And now we're just gonna evenly portion it out into the two dishes. Thank you. 
All right. Now this is totally optional. I'm actually going to sprinkle a little bit of the fret-free um, cheddar on top. Oh, knocking things over. <laughs> but I'm just gonna spread, sprinkle a little bit on top um, just to kind of bake a little cheesiness on the top of the mac and cheese. And it's just a little bit, um, maybe, maybe about a half tablespoon or so. It's not very much. So we're going to bake these guys for about 20 minutes on 350 and I will come back and show you what they look like. All right, guys, so there you go. There's the finished product. I forgot to mention that I did cover these with foil. I baked them for the first 15, maybe 17 minutes covered, and then I took the foil off and let it cook for a few more minutes without. But this is the finished product, guys. It comes out nice and cheesy. These are still very hot because I just took them out. But there you go, a very, Weight Watchers friendly um, mac and cheese and these are very good portions you really could get satisfied with just half of one of these dishes and have some you know your protein and a veggie with it and you'd be just as satisfied so you could cut the points even further down from five but this dish alone is five points for the entire thing so there you go guys I hope you like this video and I hope you try this recipe and if you do and you enjoy it, come back and let me know. I always like to get feedback on um, how my recipes turn out for others. So please share. There you go. Some nice creamy mac and cheese. Okay, guys. Talk to you again soon. Bye.